What's up, Futuro fam? For tonight, we're going out in Rhino. Figured to start off at Noble Riot. I heard a lot of good things about this place. They sell chicken and wine, which I feel like is a very interesting combo, but perfect way to start off the night. Huge, huge pro tip that I have mentioned, if you're gonna be drinking, so cheers. When it comes to the altitude, alcohol hits you way harder. I partied in South Broadway last night. I did a video about that. And I had two drinks and I'm not exaggerating, the two beers I had felt like I had like eight. And I was like, I need to slow down. It really hits you harder than you think. So if you're gonna be going out here, one, pace yourself, and two, drink a ton of water. Even if you're not drinking alcohol, water, electrolytes, it's key for the altitude. So I did a video about beach and brew in Venice Beach in LA, and it's a very similar concept. I have a card, I can tap it, I can have as much or as little as I want, which is perfect because that way I can try all these different beers. They have wines as well, so a lot to try out. Is it just me or are the names of drinks at breweries 
starting to sound more like song names. Now we have beer collabs. I'm waiting for the first beer remix where a brewery says, hey, we actually got this one beer, but we remixed it and it's like, blah, 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 IPA, Joe Schmo remix. It's gonna happen. this is unique thing where you can get a shot of any alcohol that you want but the shot glass itself is actually all ice and then you take it and throw it at a bell let's try it definitely did not notice that before because it's one of those cool art installations that when I go here now ready you're just like all right yeah it's like a weirder super of stuff pretty awesome area I'm not gonna lie <laughs> Rhino was awesome. I've been to Denver and Colorado a bunch of times before. This is my first time really staying here for the month, having my own place and own Airbnb. And I gotta say that is my favorite area I've been to yet here in Denver. I feel like the bars in Rhino were just super unique great vibes as well you know starting off with that fried chicken and i know that i didn't mention in the beginning noble riot is known for their fried chicken and wine but i was like you know what i don't know if i'd want to start off my night with wine and just get too tired or sleepy so i decided to go with beer you know bounce around to all these different bars the food was also amazing not only the fried chicken but that hot dog i had was insane and then lastly finishing it off with those street tacos can't beat it. I also liked a lot of the artwork and art installations throughout Rhino, not just on the street, but even in the bars themselves. I just thought it was a very unique kind of artsy type area, which makes sense because Rhino stands for River North Arts District. So as you can imagine, a lot of cool like artsy stuff 
all around that area. And of course, I love the pop-up that Zodiac House threw. That was kind of a DJ-esque type event. Reminded me a lot of like an LA or almost Coachella party type vibe. It's so cool to see those kind of pop-ups, especially here in Denver. You know, there was like a bunch of shows going on last night as well. And then lastly, one of the best parts of the night was hitting the bell. Like I mentioned, at Federales, they have this cool little, you know, thing that everyone does where you get a shot. The shot glass itself though is made of only ice. And after you take the shot, you try to hit the bell. I luckily got it first try. I will also say too, by that point, I was maybe like, two drinks in i was pacing myself a lot what a great night though easily my favorite area of denver i've been to yet